Hello, Heather the Painter here. I'm hoping today to share some insight on Corel Painter 12's new cloning palette and the very powerful cloning engine that they provide. In Painter 12, I've opened up an image by my friend Lonnie Hoke, and I have a very simple workspace. I have my colors, my layers, my clone source, my brushes, and my toolbar open. I try to keep it very clean. Now this one's the most important, your clone source palette. If you do not have this open, you can simply find it at Window, Clone Source. Now we have two different options in cloning in Painter 12. We can do either a file clone or a file quick clone, and it's very important to understand the difference between these two. When we do a file clone, you'll see that I have an exact duplicate on my now canvas. If we zoom in, we can see that it's filled it with the image. I'm going to close that out because I'm not going to use it. However, the difference here is when we do a file quick clone, file quick clone, you'll see a couple different things. One, my original image has disappeared. It's closed itself out. So don't freak out if you see that. We're going to fix that in just a second. Two, when we look on our clone source palette, you'll notice that our source is now from image. But when we look at our layers palette, our canvas is actually blank. So what happens when you use a file quick clone? You are actually applying presets that you set up in your preferences to this new image. And we can go ahead and customize those here. Corel Painter. Preferences, Quick Clone. So you'll see all of these are checked. Close Source Image, Open Clone Source Panel, Clear Canvas, Turn on Tracing Paper, Switch to Cloner Brushes. You can customize this. So what I personally like to do is I like to leave my source file open. That cl Open Clone Source Panel is wonderful to have here. I like to leave the clear canvas checked because that way we can start from a very blank, fresh, white palette. I'm going to turn on tracing paper, which I'll explain in just a little bit, but I'm going to uncheck switch to cloner brushes. We're going to click OK out of there, and I'm going to start fresh just to show you what it will look like now that we've set up our preferences for our file quick clone. So I'm going to open up my image again. File Quick Clone, you'll see that it kind of flashes and grays out. That is what is called tracing paper. The tracing paper is now activated, so you can see almost a full ghost of the original image. However, when we look at our canvas, we see that it's completely blank. There's no image there. But when we look at our painting, we can see there's kind of a ghost file there. So we can customize this by going to our Clone Source panel. And you see here, we've got this blue line. This is our tracing paper opacity. And its default set is to 50%, so you can see kind of halfway through that piece of paper. So we're going to take it all the way down to zero. Now you can see that it's nice, full contrast, full clarity. So when we reveal our image by hitting Control-T or Command-T on a Mac, you can see we have our ghost. If we hit Command or Control T again, we can see what's actually on our canvas. So if I were to take just a random brush, draw a happy face, this is what's actually on my canvas. But if I hit Control or Command T again to activate that tracing paper, you can see that we can see a ghost image of our original source file. So I'm going to mount my canvas by hitting Control M and show you just how powerful these options are. 